because every time I wake up and I'm, and I'm feeling one pain in my stomach, I'm like, oh my god, don't my baby moving. <laughs> or maybe I, I just feel maybe my ab my abdomen. Or I feel abdominal pain. I'm like, shit, God, your cutting is affecting the baby. <laughs> My youtube channel if you are new here please click the subscribe button and be a family okay this video is very very i don't know i just feel excited to make it because you people need to know you should, you should never <laughs> take a routine without knowing these things so you guys watch watch out watch out oh by the way if you are a new subscriber or you're a returning subscriber welcome Please remember to like the video and make comments, okay? Thank you. Okay, let's get right into it because I don't want to waste anybody's time. First of all, okay, I'm not going to talk about the usual, you know, um, you're going to purge. I'm still going back to that because this is not my face, a serious project. Or oh, the usual, um, chapped lips, um, body pain, and maybe fatigue. I don't know, the usual ones. That are there for taking a kitten i'm telling you the ones that nobody tells you nobody ever tells you these things and you need to know because you should never go on a kitten without knowing these things and if you're a new subscriber and you've not seen my previous video i'm gonna link it up here so just check it out or check the link below in the description box and watch my previous video about my Akitain journey and how it's been going and everything okay so number one is oh my god ensure <laughs> this is going to sound very very funny and out of context but ensure that once you're done with your Akitain pack once you're done with the um the sachet or whatever they call it throw it away please throw it away if you don't oh my god it is going to cut you it's real and i'm not kidding because i have a very big cut on my finger right now because i try you know i wanted to like keep it for progress records like let me just keep it and um okay in, for um i'm taking rakuten and the one i have one sachet is 10 tablets so when i was done with the first tablet i kept it just for keeping sick because i felt this is going to like boost me i'm like okay yeah what's the you finish hey jesus i was wrong I was not wrong because I'm still actually keeping it. I have coconut head, I didn't throw it away. But then, please throw it away. Or be careful with it because it will cut to you. I have, and now I don't know if it's because I'm taking Akitain that my skin is actually very sensitive to this thing. Or because uh, my, the such shit just wanted to cut me for no reason. I don't get it. But it did cut me. And it was really painful. And it's still very painful to do anything actually. It's very painful. So please make sure you throw it away. Number two, this is something that everybody actually knows. But when I was watching it and when I wanted to start my own acting journey, I watched I watched so many videos. I checked everything, everything possible that could happen, and I concluded that mm, nah, my body is strong. I'm a strong person. All these things may not happen. The least symptom I might get is chapped lips. Okay. And I'm not even joking. I've, my lips are not actually chapped or dry or unnecessarily dry. They're just actually normal. But the one side effect I'm getting right now that is really, really bothering me and I'm tired is back pain. Oh my god. It is hard to sit. It is hard to lie down. It is hard to stand. If my back is aching me so much. I, okay, sometimes it leaves and it goes and it just. But the last two days has been very constant and it is killing me and I'm t this enough is enough to tell me that guy stop this thing but they already started so I'm not even going to try to so, stop it I'll just continue and maybe if you guys know any um supplement I can use or anything I can use for this in a bit please tell me in the comment section because I need it I do need it another one nobody tells you is that when you go on a routine, you practically become a vegan because let's look at it practically they wanted to use fat and oil to use the drug 
I am this size. Please look at me. This is my size. And the one thing I'm trying to run away from is oil. So how do you hope to do this? How? How? I, okay, I can tell you it releases a lot of cholesterol. So we're supposed to watch and monitor your cholesterol. What am I supposed to eat, please? What? This day, I've lost a lot of weight in just one week. I'm telling you, I'm not taking my neck. Bone! Because I don't know what to eat. Please, you guys should help me. Maybe I'm overthinking or I'm... Because, okay, I know when I'm getting, the only thing you can take is vitamin A supplement. Fine. But I can't take oil or nuts because it will make my face worse. I can't take peanuts. I can't take granuts. I can't take uh, almond nuts. I can't take any nuts because it makes my condition worse. Which is food and things they wanted to use to take the drug. Okay, apart from that, the only thing left, um, the only thing left is oil, fish, meat, and this is not fat. And I'm trying to run away from those things. I'm already plus size already. I do not want to add weight. So why should they be telling me? To? Anyways, what I do is just take oats and almond, the fruit. So. Sorry, oats and avocado, and I mix it up. I maybe fry egg. Please, I bet. Please, if you are going through this and you're my size and you're I'm trying to avoid fat and oil and you're still taking a cutting, give me ideas on what to do. Give me ideas on what to eat, what should not eat because I really don't know. Or if it's supplement that I have to take and I can eat every other thing, please let me know. It's a good thing that I'm losing weight actually. I mean, I'm not doing anything, I'm just not eating too much and eating the right thing i'm missing mostly five hours so full on time and i don't have to eat too much but <laughs> if i continue this way for six months i'm i'm, not, I'm gonna say very very drastic weight loss and it's not gonna be funny so please and just tell me what kind apart from because practically there's a night now is potato um yam um Oat, oatmeal sometimes I take beans actually since I started it's only once I've taken beans that's all that is all like okay an egg once in a while because I have to use oil like I've noticed that my body if I take oil too much anything that has oil there's no way even on a cotton it will still come out still my f I woke up yesterday yesterday I tried I ate granola because I said now nah, I'm, I'm taking a cotton now the whole purpose is for it to dry the oil in my body so that's what i did i took granules it was not much it was a it was a very very small quantity very very small and then i took it and i woke up this morning and i touched my nose because that's like where all the oil is generated from and there was oil on it normally if i okay previously previously to eating granules normally when i wake up it's just dry i'm like okay everything is doing is work it's working I woke up this morning and there was oil on my face so naturally i know that i'm going to break out more because i already took something that's making my body produce more oil this is what i'm saying you want me to use the drug with fat and oil and my body does not accept fat and oil what am i supposed to use it with okay right now i just want you guys to just please help my life tell me what i can use with this acutane or well, anyways if i find out in my next video i will tell you guys i was going okay so anyways that's how it is because i practically stopped eating i'm doing intermittent fasting mostly because i don't know this food issue and what to eat and what not to eat is really bothering me and i'm somebody that i tend to overthink a lot i overthink everything if you tell me if you eat this thing you're gonna maybe your fingers will start paining you i would rather avoid it because i do not want any pain that's going to make me start panicking so yeah that's it okay please let's take a short break so i appreciate you guys for watching me i'm so happy because you guys are my audience if you don't if you're not watching me you're my family so therefore please if you have not liked this video please like it right now i'm with you subscribe too i'm winking that's me winking hmm? now comment sweet comment for me before i continue the video okay comment see write the comment write the comment i'm waiting
Yep. Yep. Hmm? Good. Okay, so that's basically it. And um, one other thing that you should know is that which is the obvious one perhaps to get to say it because there are some people that when they're pregnant they don't know they still be seeing their period and they don't get symptoms and anything and your dermatologist just asks you um are you pregnant are you, are you planning to get pregnant and you're like um no where would like my pregnancy from mary is somebody if you don't know mary is the wife of Joseph and she did not have sex before she got pregnant so therefore just to be sure okay just to be sure take a pregnancy test if you are sure there's nothing happen so just have confidence and take the test I'm sure that you're not pregnant because your baby girl right here didn't take the test nothing it's no bad news don't worry and I'm not pregnant and I don't know but I don't think I'm pregnant but you know my mind is overthinking things my mind is i just said it earlier that i'm an overthinker so my mind is going round and round could i be pregnant i did not do anything <laughs> i didn't do anything to warrant me thinking this way but because i am on the drug and i know the consequences of getting pregnant on the drug my mind just goes on and on over time imagining things imagining the worst and I am not going to take the test because I just would not because I know I am not pregnant but my mind keeps playing tricks on me so if you are my, my kind of person and you think that you don't want to go to all the stress of thinking too much please just take the test and free yourself of this burden because every time I wake up and I'm, and I'm feeling one pain in my stomach I'm like oh my god is my baby moving <laughs> or maybe I, I just feel maybe my, ab my abdomen Oh, I feel abdominal pain. I'm like, shit, God, the acutin is affecting the baby. <laughs> like, my mind just. And sometimes I just joke about it. But sometimes, you know, I don't know. I should just take the test, actually. Because I'm advising you guys to do it, but I'm not actually doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm a bad example. So I would take the test. And I would throw the sachet away. Because it will cut me again and I'll come with you guys to complain. You guys will just be tired of me complaining. So I would do that. Anyways, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. Turn on notification for when I post next. And share the video. Like and comment. Your comments are very important. Shout out to Andre Ferry. He was the first to watch my video and he was the first to comment and probably the only one that has comment. Well, before I'm doing this. The, my first video that I made, I got one comment and it was only one but it made me feel so happy. Because when I made the video, I was like so down. I was just like, hmm, this video I'm making. If somebody tell me rubbish, eh? But... And so the guy and he just gave me a very sweet comment. It was so encouraging. You know, I, I plan to make videos once a week, but because of that comment, I'm gonna be making videos twice a week. I'm gonna be posting on Saturdays and on Tuesdays. Saturdays just random talk and you know, normal whatever that comes up. And Tuesdays, every Tuesday is my acting weekly progress. Okay. One thing I did not mention is the purging. Everybody knows about the purging. Everybody knows that, okay, during a you purge and everything. But please, take a look at my face. Please, zoom in. Are you seeing this? No, do you see this? I'm practically black. I'm going to put my before picture to what I look like right now. I'm not seeing the type of purging before. Why? Why is my own always different? Why is my own always different? This is too much, is it not? It's not okay. It's this, is, this huge thing here is so big. Can you sit now? Because see my normal face. This is not actually my normal face. This is a swollen part of my face. Look at this dude. I know this. Anyways, my face is it's purging. Seriously. And I can't wait for it to be over. And this is just my second week for crying out loud. I am purging in my second week. People purge until their second month. But that's not gonna be my case because I've started early, meaning I'm going to finish early. That's what I'm gonna be leaving because I cannot do this for two months. I cannot. Anyways, yeah, that's just it.
that's all the things you need to know before you go on a cleanse. There are other important stuff you should know, but this one is just for my personal experience and the things that I don't think anybody has really, really mentioned before. My body is not dry, my skin is not dry, my lips are not really chapped, my face is not so dry as you can see. I'm practically shining, even though I've used moisturizer at all. Yeah. You know, I'm just actually remembering this thing one by one. Another one is that it is so hard to use anything. Like, I'm supposed, after, okay, during my appetite, I have tropical treatment. I'm supposed to use um, benzoyl peroxide, benzoyl peroxide wash, benzoyl peroxide, tropicals, moisturizer, sunscreen. Did you see my face? How am I supposed to apply these things on? And they'll tell you, use just a tiny tip. Tiny tip is going to end in my forehead. If I use a tiny tip here, it's just going to end in this foot part. All these things are contoured and crooked with texture. It's not going to reach it. So I end up using too much, which in turn is adequate because of the way my face looks and the way it feels. And then it's painful. So even wash your face in the morning is painful because you have to wash, wash, wash. And then after that, big pain of washing it you come back you use the tropicals the first one the second one the third one it's still rubbing it's so painful i wish there was another way like i just put my face somewhere and everything just stays there without me touching it because touching is just increasing the amount of pain i'm feeling i'm already feeling pain without touching it like i'm just on my own it's just like somebody's using i'm banging my face just like that Anyways, um, I'm not depressed. I'm not lonely. I am not sad for any reason. <laughs> My spirit is still very high up because I believe that after this time, huh, I'm going to be victorious. Acne is not going to have anything on me no more. So let me just go through this and be done with it once and for all. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please watch the trailer. I think I like my face like this, like this.